I'm going there, buddy. Long time no see, I know. It's Anthony's Homemade Love and Gray Recipes. So it's Tuesday. Um, I've been down down sick for a couple days, so I, I ain't been doing nothing. Uh, it's just a, just a bug, you know. They come and they go. They, you know, just got to keep yourself healthy to be able to get past it, right? So today, the other night I said something about um, doing the Taco Bell nacho fries, right? Okay, well, I found a recipe. And I got the fries in the oven right now. Um, they're baking. I just figured I'd get it, get them about halfway baked before I came on here and showed you the rest of this recipe, okay? So the first thing we're going to need is paprika. Paprika. Yep. Hold on. So we need a little bit of here. Yep. Nobody's here yet. That's a good thing. Where's the paprika? Oh, it's on top. So we need two and a half tablespoons of paprika. That's a lot of paprika. So one. Two. everybody how's he doing who's that who we got on here uh i just made a big mess with the paprika that's horrible okay so paprika two tablespoons of salt that together and then we got a couple more ingredients to add I just want to make sure I get it all mixed together as I'm going so it mixes up right so we had two and a half tablespoons of paprika two tablespoons of salt three quarter teaspoon of garlic powder chili powder no it didn't call for chili powder there it is garlic powder Hi Sadie, thanks for showing up. Um, so I'm doing nacho fries, like Taco Bell nacho fries. Three quarters of this, I need to eat three of them. This is a recipe I ran across and I just thought, because you know I tried them the other day and they were delicious, so I just thought, hey, why don't we go ahead and see if we can't do a recipe for people that don't want to go to Taco Bell right now or can't go to Taco Bell, you know what I'm saying? It happens sometimes, you know. Now, in the recipe, it does say that um, frying the fries make them a little better. So I'm just doing it a little different and baking them today. And then I need three quarter teaspoon of onion powder. Sorry if I'm not commenting, I will afterwards. Yankinson, South Dakota, and thanks for showing up. Wow, that's pretty far away. Thanks for all your support. I appreciate it. Okay, so we need three of these. This is onion powder. That was one of the ingredients that I had to get. Now, this also has a recipe for the cheese that you dip them in. So we're going to do that, too. Um... I just figure it, it takes like five to ten minutes to do the cheese in a small pan. So I decided to um, bake the fries first. Then I'm going to do the powder. Then we need three teaspoons or three quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Um, and then pull the fries out, coat the fries, which I need to grab a big bowl. And then I'll show you guys um, also how to um, make the cheese sauce that um, comes that you can get at Taco Bell. 
I think. I mean, it, it's a knockoff, but it's a pretty decent recipe, I think, the way it looked. Okay, three quarter teaspoon cayenne pepper. And then we need a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Okay. So there is our nacho seasoning. Let's make sure we mix it up really good together with the whisk. Okay. So now to the cheese sauce. We need one cup of cheese whiz, cheese dip, which is right here. So I'm gonna need to grab a spoon with the spoons over here. No, that's a fork. Don't need a fork, need a spoon. Halos. Okay, so I need one cup of cheese sauce, cheese whiz, cheese sauce. Hope everybody's had a happy new year so far. I know I've had, I have. Even though I was down with the bug, it's okay. It happens once a year with me. I could be, I can plan on being down for three or four days. Just because, you know, your body's got to get immune to it. So, it fights it off the whole rest of the year. Why not? It needs time to rest, you know? Okay. So, one cup of cheese whiz cheese sauce into a small pan Take our trusty whisk. Oh, yeah, let's get these out of there. Get that cheese to melt down into the milk. Kind of make it, you know, a little more pliable, I guess you could say. <laughs> pliable cheese. Okay. So once we once we get that broke down into the milk, then now all in total, this is only gonna take like five, six minutes to cook, all right? So, the milk, and then we need five teaspoons of brine from jalapenos. Take our whisk and whisk, whisk that into it. Then we need an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cayenne pepper. We're gonna add this into our cheese. Basically done. We 
just to know the bottom rack is. So we'll let them cool. Let them cook a little bit longer. Let our cheese kind of simmer. So we might want to turn it down a little bit. Put everything away. Clean up the mess. About another five minutes on our fries. Make the fries, follow the instructions. Best to fry them at 350. Fries are done. Put them in a large bowl. So we need a large bowl. Got a couple of those. Large bowl. Sprinkle with seasoning lemon. So, done with that. So, let me see this. That, my friends, is how you make nacho fries. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. These are my nacho fries. This is my nacho cheese. And I got some more fries in the oven. Um, chili today. It's, uh, it's kind of chilly out here today, too, sis. Um, I think the last time I checked the temperature was like 26, maybe. Or it was 30-something, felt like 23 or something like that. God bless y'all for showing up. Thank you um, for all of your support. Hope you like my nacho fries. If you want the recipe, go ahead and hit me up. Let me know what you thought about the video. And if you stop by YouTube and see me, drop that like, hit that comment, maybe even hit the notifications button, people. I'm up to 81 subscribers. I'm trying to be at 100 by June. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye now.